Hello everyone. And welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you to create a nice looking brush image slideshow animation in After Effects without using third party plugins and expressions. This is 100% editable. You can easily change the images if you want. Before we start the tutorial, be sure to smash the like and subscribe button. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Create a new composition. I am calling it Brush Slideshow. As always, I am using the same resolutions. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 20 seconds. Go to the file menu. And import the brush transitions. The download link is in the description. Go to the composition menu. And create a new composition. Rename it to brush number 1. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Click the brush composition. And press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Drag the brush transition to brush number 1 and brush number 2 composition. Click the brush number 1 composition. Let's preview it. Cool. It's working. But as you can see the brush footage is only 5 seconds longer. So, let's fix this, make sure you are in the second last frame. Now, press Shift Ctrl and D to split the layer. Right click on the newly created layer. Go to the time. And select freeze frame. Drag the frame to 10 seconds. Let's preview it again. Cool. It looks good to me. Now, go to the brush number 2 composition. As you can see, there are too many grey brush spots. So, let me show you to fix them. Go to the layer, then new. And select the solid. And choose the white color. Drag the solid layer to the 4 seconds on a timeline. Select the anchor point tool and drag the anchor point to the left side. Select the white solid layer. Press S to open scale properties. Add a keyframe. Now, unselect the constain proportions. Decrease the width to 0%. After 5 seconds, change the scale value back to 100%. Looks perfect to me. And the grey brush spots are gone. Select the brush 1 composition. And press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Now, double click the brush 3 composition. Right click the bottom layer. Go to transform. And select flip vertical. Cool. Go to the brush slideshow composition. And close the other compositions. I am going to import the required images. Go to the file menu. Then import. And select the images. I've imported three images. So we need a separate composition for each image. Create a new composition. I am calling it image 1. Select the image 1 composition. And press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate two times. Then drag each image into a separate composition. Go to each image composition. And adjust the image scale to fit the screen. Go to the brush slideshow composition. Drag the brush 1 composition into it. Then drag the image 1 composition just below the brush 1 composition. 
Go to Track Matte, and choose Luma Matte Brush 1. Let's see, what we've created so far. Fantastic. Select the Image 1 composition, and press S to open Scale Properties. Then add a keyframe, and drag the keyframe to the last frame. Go to the first frame, and change the Image 1 scale value to 115%. Select both keyframes, then right click, and go to the keyframe assistant, and choose Easy Ease. Cool. Looks perfect to me. I am going to create the image to transition by applying the same technique. Select both layers, and drag them to the 4 seconds on a timeline. Let's preview it. Amazing. I am happy with the results. Select the image 1 layer. Press S to open scale properties. Select both keyframes. And press Ctrl C to copy it. Then select the image 2 layer. And press Ctrl V to paste the keyframes. Now I am going to create the image 3 transition. Let me do it faster to save your time. Let's preview it. Cool. Can I get only 100 likes for this tutorial? I am going to import the particle footage. To make the slideshow look more professional, You can download the particle footage, I will add a download link in the video description. Let's drag the particle footage just above the all layers. Now, drag the footage to the left side until you see the small particles. Now, cut the footage, and paste it into the image 1 composition, change the layer mode from normal to screen. Press T to open Opacity Properties, then decrease the Opacity value to 75%. Select the Particle Footage layer, and press Ctrl C to copy it. Go to Image 2 Composition, and press Ctrl V to paste the footage. Then go to Image 3 Composition, and press Ctrl V to paste the footage. Finally, decrease the Particle Footage layer scale. Finally, you've learned to create a brush image slideshow. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.